Okay, so I'm sitting with David Dinwiddie, um, and one of the topics which has come out a lot in leadership development as we look at uh, what organizations are looking at for their leaders is this idea of strategy. So everyone seems to be talking strategy. Um, our leaders need to be good at it, they need to be thinking strategically. This is the area you have done a lot of your um, focus of research and practice on. So I wanted to ask you about it, and maybe to start off with, what do we mean when we're talking about strategic leadership? What is that? Strategy has become a buzzword. Yeah. The last 15, 20 years, it's been strategy, strategy, strategy. And what we're seeing is as our leaders get better and better at formulating coherent strategies, they don't necessarily, necessarily see that feed into superior performance results. Right. Yeah. So we, we did some studies and we said, what's happening in organizations that are actually doing extremely well from a performance perspective over time? Uh -huh. And we see they're good at making strategy, but they're good at developing a leadership culture to implement strategy and execute on it successfully. Right, and so why do you think that is becoming so important now? Well, the world's, it's, it's just much more complicated, isn't right. it? Organizations have become so complex over the last 15 or 20 years. Yeah. And what we're seeing is this complexity in the organization brings a lot of performance potential. Yeah. But we don't necessarily see going organizations taking that potential and turning it into superior performance over time. Right. Leadership strategy takes two elements that are key to success. A good coherent strategic framework that shows us how we're going to go from here to there mm. and a leadership culture and capability that allows us to execute successfully on that strategy. Okay, so that's good. All right, so I'm getting it at a high level. Can you, uh, can you <laughs> break it down for us a bit more and you know, tell us what's in strategic leadership? Yeah. So it is a bit complex, yeah. and we'll do this in just a few minutes. Why don't I show you this, this model that we Perfect. use here at the Center for Creative Leadership? This is a model which brings together those two elements, strategy and leadership, into one integrated process. Around the outside of this, we see the strategy formulation process. And all companies go through this, either consciously or unconsciously. They go through a process of taking a look at themselves internally and determining their strengths and their weaknesses, mm. looking externally and assessing the environment to say, where are those opportunities that we need to go after? And what are some of the things that we need, may need to overcome in our competitive environments? We develop what I call a strategic lens. What's our vision? What's our mission? our values, our operating principles, how do we see our business, and all companies go through this process. Mm. Then we get down to the specifics of identifying your business drivers. What are those three, four, five things that are actually crucial to invest your time, energy, and resource in to execute successfully on your strategy? Right, right. Okay? And then we, we create some strategies. Yeah. How are we going to go from here to there? Yeah. What's our marketing strategy, our finance strategy, yeah. our people strategy to make sure that we're actually making that journey to where we want to go. Now this is a little bit different, a leadership strategy. And this is something that we see here at the Center for Creative Leadership that's one of the keys to actually executing successfully. Coming up with a strategy to enable the humans, the people in the organization, to actually act on this business strategy and put it into action. Mm. And then we sort of pull the trigger and we execute. We execute on our strategies, our people start working, and they start to drive the organization to where we want it to go. We take a look at our performance. Are we really matching up our performance potential with that performance that we're seeing from the organization in many different senses? And we learn from that. And then we go through this process. It's an iterative, ongoing learning process. Right. Strategic leaders will go through the strategy process, and they'll start to say, what are those challenges that my organization is really facing? Right. And our studies show, our research shows, that people that come to us and they engage in strategic leadership programs are pretty much dealing with four crucial areas in their mm -hmm. businesses. Mm -hmm. they're, they're challenged with leading change. These days, you know, change, change, change is the big thing. How do we lead people through the change process in a successful, healthy way? Yeah. Okay, and that's something that leaders are challenged with. Shaping a culture. How do we determine the right organizational culture and the right leadership culture to go through the strategy formulation process and execute successfully? Yeah. Okay? Shaping the right culture in the organization. Uh, spanning boundaries. We find more and more that as organizations become more complex, it's difficult for people to actually cross boundaries in the organization. Sort of those vertical boundaries up and down. Mm -hmm. Communication across those lines. Horizontal boundaries across the organization. How do leaders actually enact and uh, interrelate across different business units, different functions, different areas of the business in a successful way? What are some of those external boundaries that we need to cross as well? So they're challenged with really spanning organizational boundaries. And finally, what we call leveraging polarities. More and more leaders are faced with 
uh, enacting things that appear to be diametrically opposed in the organization. So strategically, we want to grow our business, mm -hmm. and we're going to invest in growth. But at the same time, we're being told, no, we need to become more efficient, right. more profitable. We need to reduce costs and become more effective. Uh -huh. How do we help people understand that those two things are not really opposites? They're two poles that need to be paid attention to if we're going to be successful in the organization. Mm. Okay? So these are the type of things that strate strategic leaders are dealing with as they go through the strategy formulation process. Great. Perfect. Comprehensive. Um, so tell me a story. So I know that you do this with clients, this sort of work. Give, give us a sort of picture of how this might work in the real world um, if organizations tried to get their people to be better at strategic leadership. Yeah. So uh, a case study that comes to mind is an organization I've been working with for the last five years in Peru, yeah. uh, the Credit Corps Group. Uh -huh. It's a financial institution which has been growing very rapidly across all of Latin America over the last five years, very successfully and faced with some pretty significant challenges. They go from the dominant player in the Peruvian market to an important, successful player across all of Latin America. So Credit Corps, how did this play out in Credit Corps? As Credit Corps five years ago was going through this strategy formulation process and looking to the future and saying, okay, if we're going to be successful uh, across all of Latin America, that's going to change significantly our strategic framework. We have to think differently see our markets differently, and treat our people differently so that we're successful. Now, what are some of those challenges we're going to have to face as we look out strategically? Well, we're pretty good at this process. The, the, the senior leadership team at Credit Corps is very well trained, very well experienced in the strategy formulation process. And they started to say, but that's going to look a little bit different as we look at the types of change we have to drive in the organization, mm. as we expand our bus business model, as we go into new markets, as we start to get into different services. What are the types of things we need to focus on strategically around change? We started to realize that shaping the culture was absolutely key. A very successful organization based on short-term performance results now needs to be focused coming up with a culture of leaders that actually interact and integrate across different lines of the business, and that required some significant change. They started to see that the boundaries that they were very good at crossing horizontally in the organization, people communicated extremely well. Uh, and we were challenged with going across the organization and bringing functions together and coming up with new ways of doing things and new ways of innovating across our business. And finally, this, this polarity thing. And how do we grow and become more efficient at the same time? And they started to focus on these issues as strategic leaders as they were going through this strategic thought process. Right. Nice. Okay. Yeah. So, if, so for people listening who know that they need more strategic leadership in their organization, what would be a couple of tips as far as how do you start? What are the first sort of couple of things you do or think about? Mm -hmm. So, yeah, the starting point's difficult. There, there's a lot to it, isn't it? Yeah. I, I, th I tend to think that one, understanding yourself is important. Yeah. In any developmental process, even organizational development, really understanding who are we as an organization, who do we want to be as an organization, and what are some of the strengths and weaknesses within that vision. So I think there's establishing the overall vision of who we are and where we want to go. Um, and then saying, well, how competitive we are, are we in our markets? When we take a look at uh, not just ourselves in our marketplace, but the other competitors and the expectations of our clients, are we well situated from a competitive perspective or mm -hmm. not? Right. And what do we need to do to become more, more, more competitive in that environment? Right. Great. Thanks very much, David. It's a great overview of what strategic leadership is and, and also a concrete example of how to do it. All right. Thank you. Thank you, Nick.